Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to create this uh, typography animation in After Effects. All right, go to the new composition. I'm going to type in text. I'm going to go with 1920 by 1920. Three seconds, black background, click OK. I'm going to select the text tool, type in whatever you want. Okay, I gotta go to the line, align it to the center. I'm gonna press the letter S, scale it down a little. Okay, and now I'm gonna go and add an animation. I'm gonna add the opacity, and as you can see, it's gonna add this add. Click on it, go to property, and select position. So as you can see, now we got position and opacity. I'm gonna go to the position, I'm gonna bring it to the minus. So I'm going to go with some around 2060. As you can see, it brings it to the left. The more you bring it to the left, the better the animation is going to perform. I'm going to go to opacity, going to decrease the zero. And now I'm going to go to the range selection, one click. And we got the end and the offset. I'm going to bring this to the 10th frame. Going to activate the stopwatch, type in minus 100 go i'm gonna go somewhere around one second two seconds somewhere around the second second i'm gonna type in here plus 100 and i'm gonna hit play and from here i'm gonna go to the advanced uh, we have the shape square i'm gonna select ramp up let's check it out now yeah, now it got fixed, but it's kind of slow. So I'm going to bring the diamond some rounds right here. And it looks something like this. Good. I'm going to right click here, click on new composition. going to type in displacement, click enter, going to select the rectangle, create a rectangle. I also going to position this anchor point, press and hold control and double click on the pen behind. So it's going to position it right into the center. Uh, as you can see, I got a gradient going on inside. I got so what, do you, what you need to do first is click on the field text. Click on the field text and select the linear gradient. Click OK. And now you can go to the gradient. Click on it and you can adjust here the gradient. You need to put a white here and black here. Click OK. And as you can see, we got these handles. So I'm going to drag this handle to the right. I'm going to drag the left handle to the left so the gradient is going to spread out i'm going to align this to the left and to the top now i'm going to go and add a repeater click on the repeater i'm going to go to the repeater option so we get the copies i'm going to increase it somewhere around 80 90 how you like and here we got the transform repeater one click on and we got the position here so we're gonna on a hundred we're gonna bring it out all the way so as you can see it's gonna leave some distance in between i'm also thinking to scale it down a little bit now we're gonna add scroll up and add another repeater click on the repeater we're gonna go to the or second repeater we got the copies bring up the copies again somewhere around 80 90 go to transform repeater 2 and we got a position now before we work with the 100 which was on 100 we increased it now we're going to work with the right which is on zero so i'm going to increase it as you can see it starts to create it's going to start to go downwards i gotta go all the way down until it leaves some uh, gap between the in between the rectangles looks something like this i gonna bring this also to the left press and hold shift to isolate and it looks something like this okay go here to the project right click new comp type in final comp, click OK, and drag in the text and the displacement, just drag and drop in, and make sure that the text is on the top, the displacement is on the bottom, I'm gonna uncheck the displacement, go to the text, and I'm gonna type into the effects and preset displacement, and I'm gonna drag in the time displacement on the text. And as you can see, we already got some uh, distortions going on, so I'm gonna go to the display, Time displacement layer and change the text to the displacement. I'm gonna go to the text, gonna go type in minus zero one, and this is going to. Yeah, there you go. And this is how you create this animation in After Effects. Thanks so much for watching, and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.